It's Mortal Kombat 11 time. Actually, the game just launched. I'm just showing a poster of it. But we're not going to be reviewing that, guys. Timster here. And as you know, I'm a big fan of fighting games in general. Growing up in the 90s, playing these games in the arcade. And at home whenever I could. I played Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. And eventually when we came to the other fighting game franchises, I got to Tekken. I got to Dead or Alive. King of Fighters, you name it, but we're going to be concentrating on one of the originals, which is Mortal Kombat. I have a couple of merchandise here. Here I have my Scorpion action figure from MK9, or the semi-reboot Mortal Kombat game that came out for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 era. All I have is Scorpion. So, Aside from that, I have the Mortal Kombat movie here on Blu-ray, and it's going to be turning... Wow, man, 25 years. It came out in 1995, and it's now 2020. We had Robin Shu as Liu Kang. We had Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa as Shang Tsung, who returns in Mortal Kombat 11, Aftermath. And Christopher Lambert as Raiden, among other cast members. But we're not going to be talking about the movie. Today, I will be doing a review on this Arcade Classics Mortal Kombat cabinet and it contains the first game or rather a port of the first game namely the Sega Mega Drive and Sega Genesis version so here I have the box looks pretty good and if you're a retro guy like myself who wants to keep relics of the past I needed to get this and we're going to be doing an unboxing in honor of Mortal Kombat week, again, because Aftermath launches. It also comes with Robocop if you play that game. Peter Weller is back as the voice of Robocop. But we're not going to be reviewing that game. I haven't gotten it yet. I'm going to be reviewing a classic. This arcade classic, Mortal Kombat. So coming off the Mortal Kombat logo, we have this base fun arcade classics Mortal Kombat arcade mini replica. And it has in the side of the arcade mini replica. And it has in the side of the cabinet a picture of Scorpion, which is actually wrong. That picture is from Mortal Kombat 3 or Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. But anyway, you get the point. It's a Mortal Kombat cabinet with the classic logo. And in the back you see an example of how this baby looks like in the open. And you see Scorpion fighting Sub-Zero. Here it goes, the description, Mortal Kombat, classic arcade gameplay. Select your fighter and battle opponents in one-on-one -on -one timed matches. Drain your opponent's health bar to win each round. The first to win two rounds wins the match. Play a finishing move to hear the famous words, finish him, so aka a fatality. But this being the Sega Genesis Mega Drive port of the game, you can expect there to be no blood and no fatalities unless you put a code. Alright, again, to try this out, you have to press the start button. There's the Mortal Kombat title screen. And another example of Scorpion fighting Raiden in Shang Tsung's throne room. And you see the buttons here. You have high punch, low punch, high kick, low kick. Block and block. And of course the joystick to move it. You have the power button and the sound button. Right smack in the middle. Mortal Kombat Arcade Classics. Looks good inside the box. But it just wouldn't be an unboxing if we didn't take this baby out and play it for real. So up next I am going to be opening this. So we've removed it out of the box. And I present to you... Your Mortal Kombat mini arcade cabinet with the wrong scorpion on the side of the arcade from Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, but that's okay. Anyway, a little bit more showcase again. We'll get around to playing this in a while because I have to remove it from the plastic holders here at the back in order to turn on the actual play button as stated here in this set of instructions for 
the Arcade Classics Mortal Kombat cabinet. So, opening it, you can see here we need to set the reset button again on the back. And if you haven't played Mortal Kombat at all or before, this instruction manual gives you the basics. Doesn't tell you the special moves, but it gives you the overall basics. Which is good enough. And it uses AAA batteries. Three AAA batteries. So alright, let's get on with the show and take this out and see what it can do. Once more, an up-close look at the arcade cabinet before I take it out of the plastic holders here at the back. So it's pretty. Um, I can put it next to my action figure collection of toys. <laughs> it's like these guys are playing Mortal Kombat in the arcades. Anyway, these are just a sample of my toys here. There you go. Bolo and Bruce Lee, Revenge the Dragon, or Kenshiro, or Psylocke. And Robocop himself, who is a character now in Mortal Kombat with MK11 Aftermath. That's cool. So here it is, taken out of the plastic holder, and wow. Now we gotta remove this to play the game properly. And yes, yeah, so this is where you have to use a miniature screwdriver to take out the lid and replace the batteries should this run out. All right. Let's pull this out. And the game starts proper at long last. The word code has many different definitions. Anyway, that's for the blood code, if you know it. And as expected, the sound is grainy. What do you expect? It's a miniature arcade. It's not supposed to be arcade perfect. It's just a tribute. A relic to the past. But this is fun. This is fun. I can't complain about this. Just to have it in my collection. Okay, we're gonna put... We're gonna put... This thing beside... Robocop here. <laughs> Robocop playing Mortal Kombat. And he's gonna be a character in Mortal Kombat. Well, he is a character in Mortal Kombat now. I stand corrected. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath is now out for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC while I get to play some retro classic Mortal Kombat. Yeah, let's take this for a spin. Hold on for a sec, guys. This is fun. And there we go. Let's play some... Little Mortal Kombat. Okay, we'll add six credits. Difficulty hard. Yeah, this is a bit. This is too tiny to control, but anyway. Let's make it medium. And play the game. Amazing. So again, this is the joystick and you have high punch, low punch, high kick, low kick, and two block buttons. But you only have one block button in actuality. I want to go for my main, Sub-Zero. Yeah. There we go. That brings back memories. Yeah, this is going to be tricky to play. Flawless victory. Fight. Nice. Mm. 
Well, there are no fatalities, so... Alright! Not bad! Not bad! <laughs> I can't believe Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Scorpion's here on the side. Wish it was something more authentic, but... Who are we to complain, guys? One little trinket. And there you have it! Wow! Arcade Classics Mortal Kombat Arcade Mini Machine. Not bad. Takes you back to the past. It's a relic. It's a nostalgia piece. I suggest only getting it if you enjoy video games and the Mortal Kombat franchise in particular. This can stand well with your action figures just so you have a mini arcade cabinet alongside your dioramas, your set pieces, your displays. It's awesome. Uh, and of course, reviewing it and unboxing it only now after getting it how many months ago. It's perfect timing, of course, since the new DLC story content for Mortal Kombat 11, Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath, is out. With Robocop as one of the new playable characters and Peter Weller reprising his role. So that's awesome. <laughs> I mean, violence back in the day in video games was regulated because of this game. It started the rating system. So, because of fatalities, because of the blood, and parents being concerned in the 90s, they restricted the blood content of Mortal Kombat in the home versions, but you could unlock it with a code, as in the case of the Sega Genesis Mega Drive version, which is emulated here. So, my only gripes with this are, well, they could have been more authentic with the arcade display cabinet. I mean, there's Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Scorpion. It gets the message across, but still. And the grainy sounds. But who are we to complain for a nostalgia relic piece like this? So thank you guys for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. Uh, final verdict for 20 bucks or less. I guess it's fine to get it. As long as you're a fan. As long as you enjoy video games and fighting games. I do. So... Uh, please follow me here at YouTube, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I'm also at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Uh, it's also Timster, T-I-M-Z-S-T-E-R. Except for Twitter, you add the, T-H-E, T-I-M-Z-S-T-E-R. I'll see you next time. And play Mortal Kombat!